My first year as a software developer, these are my lessons learned and boy oh boy has it been a journey. Hi, welcome back to another video. My name is Jeremiah Peoples. I'm a self-taught software developer and I have been for about a year now. So if you haven't seen my first video where I talk about my journey as a self-taught software developer, I'll summarize it real quick. Earlier last year, I was deployed. I started teaching myself coding stuff. I came home, received a position developing, and I've had amazing opportunities ever since. Getting into development has definitely taken me places and given me opportunities I never would have thought. Of. It took me off of 12 and a half hour shifts and gave me a flexible nine to five schedule. They sent me on a six month trip to Los Angeles, put me in a penthouse, all expenses paid for six months, and then continued to teach me software development things, which was amazing, amazing opportunity. And lastly, it's allowed me the opportunity to be able to switch out of this career field, which is the military and engage in something else and be confident about that decision. So whenever I get a seasoned professional in the room, I ask them this, it's my favorite question to ask. Given everything you know right now, what would you tell your day one professional self? your day one software developer self, your day one grad student, your day one artist, anything. I always like to see what advice they would give themselves just starting out. So I'm gonna try my best to answer that question for myself. I thought I had a, yeah, no. So that's a toughie. All right, I think I got it. If I could tell my day one coder self something from everything that I know now, it would be to figure out how to learn quickly. I can't tell you how many interviews I've been in where the interviewers are like, yeah, we're looking for someone who has the aptitude to learn and to learn quickly. I actually can tell you how many, it's been two, two interviews. But yeah, they're incredibly right. You need to be able to adapt to new things very quickly because in software development, things are always changing. And you're always gonna have to pick up new frameworks, new libraries, and so da 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 da. So practice learning quickly, learning effectively, and retaining as much information as possible as soon as possible. Here are a handful of my most valuable lessons learned over the last year, and they're gonna be quick, rapid fire. Everyone's heard the saying, if you're the smartest person in the room, you're, you're in the wrong room. But no one ever talks about the dumbest person. If you're the dumbest person in the room, you're in the right room. I think everyone starting off in software development has at least some level of imposter syndrome. But this leads me to my next lesson learned, and it's don't suffer in silence. For the beginning of my career, I would definitely fall victim to this. I would have a problem that I'd be too embarrassed to bring it up, and I wouldn't tell my other engineer next to me. But if you have the ability and you have developers actually like within physical touch or they're in your network, go ahead and reach out to them. It'll help you grow, and everyone has been there. Us developers, we love to help each other out. But that doesn't mean rely on your fellow engineers for help with everything. Like learn how to identify bugs yourself, search those bugs on Google or Stack Overflow and get an answer and then implement that answer. That's clutch, you need to have that skill. Another thing that I was pretty bad at was if I was enjoying a YouTube video or something like that, you're gonna wanna make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and leave a comment. That's just really gonna make you be the best developer you can possibly be. I'm not sure why this took me so long to hop on a train, but use Git, like straightforward, use a virgin. <laughs> Use a version control system like Git to make sure you're tracking your progress and you can look back in time. There's literally no downside to using Git. Well, maybe learning it, but that, that's not too difficult. Be nice to your brain, take breaks. Like I used to start and I'm like, I'm gonna go for three hours, four hours, knock it out. But then I would take like a three hour or four hour break because I was so exhausted. So try the Pomod Pom Pomodora? Pomodoro, Pomodoro, I'm gonna write it up here correctly. Pomodoro method is essentially 20 minutes on, 10 minutes off, 20 minutes on, 10 minutes off. This method helps you stay engaged and reduces burnout and allows you to be more consistent throughout the project that you're working on. And last but not least, don't learn a little about a lot of things, learn a lot about the little things. <laughs> Excuse me, I got very excited. Don't learn a lot about a ton of things. When you're first getting started, you're gonna be tempted to learn about oh, Python and SQL and JavaScript. Nah, cut that out. You don't need to do that. Learn one language, learn it very well and be able to implement it. Again, I was guilty of this. I try to learn way too much all at one time. I try to learn Python and JavaScript, CSS, HTML at the same time. That wasn't helpful for me. What I had success with is learning one thing, learning HTML really well, and then moving on to CSS and learning CSS really well, and then moving on and not trying to overload myself with a bunch of little things. All right, that's about it. After about one year software development, those have been like my biggest takeaways, my biggest lessons learned. If you enjoyed this content, go ahead and leave a thumbs up, subscribe to follow me on my software development journey. And like always, I will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.